Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shalisha and I am in my 10th year of teaching. I currently teach first grade in the metro Atlanta area and this is how I roll out my centers. <music> to prepare the materials ahead of time so this week we are not doing we are learning about center rotation excuse me so we're not actually participating in the centers so i am currently preparing the material so here are my math tubs and the students will learn that math tubs will be housed on this shelf right here so I'm currently preparing the materials and tip number one is to laminate everything for reuse. These are, oh, can't use that. Hold on. This is something I used in fourth grade. So can't use that, but I can use this. I'm going to take this sheet out. I need to find the first grade version of that this is why you prepared ahead of time because if i had put that as a center so the first week when i roll it out i'll do this in small groups and show them how to use the center and then they'll practice with this with the dry erase board i'm sorry with the dry erase marker and then the second week that i have this in centers they will have a worksheet that they will have to complete so this is just the addition version and in this uh, tub we have the subtraction version and i will give them um numbers that are smaller than this but it should be simple for them so there won't be any two digit plus two digit it'll just be one digit numerals and then in this one because we are about to start our place value um center so because we're about to start um working with tens and ones as a part of our first unit they're going to match the number card with the pineapple card. So this one says three tens, so they would find the number 30. Like this one says two tens and four ones, have the number 24. So make sure that you have it labeled and easy to word and picture directions. So for the first week, they'll once again, match the cards and write their answers on this sheet, right and white. And then the next week that I've had it in the center, then they will do it on a worksheet so that I can gauge whether they're actually doing the center correctly and if they are learning from the center. Just like that. Easy one on yellow. Harder on math. I mean on pink. Lord. So we've got basically one digit by one digit except for that 10 right there and then over here we've got two digit by one digit so they can add or subtract both of them what's up guys so it's a few days later i'm currently sitting in the uh drive through but um, I'm heading to get some organizational pieces that I need from Michaels and Target so that uh, my centers can roll a bit smoother than they did last year um, so that my vision can come to life, basically. So you're about to see that in just a second. Okay, open house starts in 30 minutes. So 
Uh, I'm gonna quickly go through uh, what we did as our center rollout for today. So today we only went through math centers. So we just practiced getting up and getting to where our materials are. And we did that three times. And after we did that, um, then I let them practice getting the materials out and practicing cleaning up before the cleanup song ends. And we did that two times. So let me show you where our, my center things are. And then maybe you can see what that looks like. So they see this slide on the board and it shows them their group name, the name of the members of their group, and then where they are going. So we went over what each one looks like. So we have work on math. We have two groups that are doing math tubs because I have eight math tubs. We have two groups doing technology because we have the um, we have the computers in the classroom and then we also have their laptops. And then we have one group working on math journals. So I'm gonna show you where work on math is, math tubs, and math journals and the routines that we practice today to get to those. So when they do work on math, they have to come and get their math folder. Their math folders are simply right here because we start with math in the morning. So they come and get their math folder and they're doing the independent practice side. We learned today that when they do math tubs and they choose a tub, only two people can do a tub. So if I choose math tub one, then my friend Scarlett and I can do math tub one, but my friend Johanna cannot also do math tub one. She would have to go get math tub two. So I have two columns. They come, they get a tub, they take it to a spot in the room to work in a whisper voice on that tub. If they see their name by math journals, they'll just come to their cubby, take their math journal and their pencil box out. And they come to their cubbies to get their math journal and their pencil box simply because sometimes they're going to be cutting and pasting activities for them to do in their math journal. So they'll come here to get their math journal and then they'll come to the kidney table to get what they have to cut and paste into their journal. So tomorrow we will practice um, the practical application of doing math centers and then I will go through the rollout of reading centers. Um, it's been difficult for me having reading at the end of the day but I'm gonna try to push through and see how that works and then if not then I'll make the necessary changes to have it um, earlier in the day. The only reason I haven't had it earlier in the day is because our breaks like our specials lunch and recess breaks are like right in the middle of the day and i want it to be a period that's uninterrupted
Hi, Jane Shalisha here, coming to you when I thought I had finished the video and realized that I hadn't walked you through what my reading centers were. So just like math, I have six reading centers. Um, and as you can see here, we have word work, read and respond, work on writing, read to self, handwriting, and technology. Um, word work and work on writing are what you saw them working on in their trifold folders. Um, read and respond. Right now they're just reading. Um, and that's what you saw them doing in the library. Read to self is just them listening to a book on Epic or reading a book on Epic, depending on um, their reading level currently. And then technology they're working on lexia or vocabulary and i have these icons up here so they know what they can get on and what they cannot get on during reading rotations um and so yes we do two rotations just like we do during math um their group names are named after trees in math and reading i stole that from this is called Maylene, and then for math, they are named after um, flowers, just so they can be differentiated. Again, these icons show what they can and can't get on during math rotations. So during math, they're working on Dreambox. They can read some social studies weeklies, vocabulary. Um, and the weeks that we do, like, past two weeks we were working on social studies so that's why social studies weekly is there but the next two weeks we'll be working on science so i'll change this icon out with brain pop and they can watch um brain pop science videos during math rotations as well so just scrolling back up so you can see